And I just had a random idea. I'm actually going to paint this knee silver as if it was a replacement. Because uh, it got damaged in a recent battle or something and I've not had time to give him a blue one. They just had to give him what they could. What do I do it with the whole leg, like going right up to the top? Or do I keep that top bit there blue? I'll keep the top bit blue, don't want to go a bit too far. Cool. Let's try to get right into the crevasses. There we go. Nice. Nice first layer on the legs. Excellent. Let's get his super mech cod piece. Not since David Bowie played the Goblin King has there been a cod piece quite like this. Seriously, that man's cod piece in that role, it should have got best supporting role. But I think painting the rest will be easier if I stick him back on his stand. Yeah. Exact. There we go. I'll take the face off. And we'll uh, let's do it this way. Cool, cool. Let's get these edges looking good. There we are. Nice. Get that booty blue. Blue booty. Went in the grill and I wanted to stay. I think on camera it still looks dark in there, so. Alright, not so bad then. Get right in there. Lovely. And let's see how well I can do this disc without spilling into places that don't need to be blue, of which there are many. I'll probably just sort of roughly go around the cog and go between the teeth with a smaller brush after the fact. Try and paint on the side as well. There we go. There we go. I do get a lot of satisfaction from a gentle application of paint in an area like this. Though I do look forward to getting in between those teeth. Is it possible I... No, I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to do that. Cool. That looks very good for it. Right. Now to this one. I got a random image in my head of being like Geppetto from Pinocchio wherein I'll Paint this up and then say to Merlin, you know, I, I wish that this dreadnought could be a real boy. And then in the night, the dreadnought just turns into a full size dreadnought and just starts destroying everything. And I'll be like, that's my boy. Whoops. A bit spill there. Ah oh well. Nice. Good first paint on that. And those uh, coil bits there, would they be blue or silver? My gut tells me silver. Yes, I'll make him silver. Right, so I'll move away from this big brush. We'll get out a smaller brush and do some of the more nook and cranny bits we couldn't before. Let's, let's see how well I can get in here. A little bit too much on my brush. Here we go. Just wiping away the bit that was a bit much. There we go. Nice. Right in the teeth of the cogs. Or cog, singular. Alright, now let's get in here. Right in his lovely face. Guess there's no escape in getting some on the edges when you're dealing with incessors this fine. Incessors? Recessors. There we go. Words. On the wing there, but never mind. That's not too terrible. There we go. A lot of spill, especially on the letterbox at the top, alas, but never mind. Still looks very good. Guess it was inevitable given how small all these little crevices on his face are. Excellent. Good. Looking at how this is connected there, I think this little bit here would also be blue. But I don't need the little brush for now, so I'll put that away after a quick wipe and wash. Yep. Yeah. Not going to worry so much about the inside, because that's of course going to be covered up by the faceplate. Ah, there we go. This looks cool. I'll quickly stick his face back on him. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Get right in there under his chinny chin chin. Come on now. There we go. Let's start to add a little bit more macrag to my pot. Okay, won't be long until I'm getting out my other pot of macrag. Try and get around these little nooks and crannies. Little bits of black I'll have to go over in that tiny crevice down the line, but still. Okay, nice looking edge. He's already looking really cool, just for this first layer. I shouldn't worry too much about the inside, because I could always just take it off and do it that way. Maybe I will. Here we go. Get this edge done good and nice. Definitely going to take care around that crux there. Definitely going to need a smaller brush. We have the little tiny, has the little tiny spikes just on the outside of the cruxes there, which makes it not so easy. That's the first layer of the main shell. It'll look awesome with the second layer, I reckon. Very excited to apply that. I'm just going to quickly stick him back on his uh, on his stand, his base, his podium, his happy place. There we go. Nice. Just to help me line it up, I'm going to quickly get out a small brush again and do a little incest bits of the crux. There we go. I think that's the best I'm going to do. It's pretty good though. Pretty far in there. Nice, very nice. Now, these bits here should be easier, especially with paint on one's brush. Oops. Got a fair bit of blue on the skull there, alas, but never mind. Right, cool. That's his first layer, and he's got a knee ready to be painted silver when the time comes, so nice. We'll pop him to one side and quickly do his arms, if indeed you can call them arms. Here we 
we go. I'll do some battle damage on this to hide these uh, blemishes here that paint won't be able to hide. You can really see the weird texture now. Acid burn or something, that's why I need to look up for this, I think. Let's come with first layer for that one. Do, 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 do. There you go, that's the first layer on that one as well. Nice, could be nicer. One sec. Just, there we go. Cool. Just have a quick look at him. Nice, he's definitely starting to look the part. He's got the nice bit of blue. Now we just need to give him that second layer. Let's do that. And there he is with two layers of the Macrag, and I must say, it looks really, really dang nice. Cat hair. I'm very, very proud of him. Obviously, there's some places like here where the weird texture of the priming happened, but again, we're going to make some battle damage out of it, so it's fine. Virtually no spill to speak of that I can see. At least not that it isn't going to be done over. Managed to get between most of the crevices really nicely on him as well, so yeah. Looking phantasmagorical. Right, I think next on the list we are going to do some of the the metals, with which, of course, lead belcher. Beautiful, beautiful lead belcher. I've never been totally sure exactly what part of the legs are, black or silver. So I'm just going to follow my gut here, trying to get as close as I can without actually going over it. Oh, another thing as well that I realised is that I wanted to leave that bit black just on the top there, but for some reason on that side I didn't, so... Going to be going over that with black again at some point. Down the line. There we go. Oh, a bit of silver there on the blue up there, but ah oh well. No worries. At least on camera, no worries. Who knows what happens off camera? There we go. A bit of spill, but I can just clean that up. Down the line. It's my own fault because I, uh, yeah, I'll show you. I got a bit near the rim and it went like, whoop, like that, and then I lost control. God, I'm just throwing him all over the place right now. <laughs> Poor fella. Just the fact he's in a dreadnought just shows how much he's been through already. That's a rather big slip just there, but again, never mind, as always. Now let's get that knee nice and silvered. Yes, that reminds me, I'll probably spend the time, probably right near the end, going around and silvering the rivets. Because I did it with the ATV, and it really did look good for it. So I shall do it again here. It is time well spent, in my opinion. I imagine once I've made it look nice and battered up, you know, no oil it, and then... Maybe add some nice scratches along the edge. I imagine it will look really good. At least, that's the dream. Ah, lovely. Might have to do a little bit of a cheeky leg unplug. Come on. Wah. It's more and more stubborn each time. Actually, you know what? There we go. Just help me. There we go. Probably better for you guys to see as well, actually. It's looking pretty good for just a first layer. Always good when that happens. There we go. Nice. Cool. I really like that. Now, for his pelvic region, I'm probably thinking... Uh, but that riveted bit in the middle there would be black, like Space Marine joints. That would probably be silver. Uh, maybe some combination of silver and black on the piston. Probably silver on the inside and... Would it be silver on... Okay, I think this dome bit here will be silver. And these bits here, these three bits will be silver. But the rest will be black. That's what I'm leaning towards. So, let's get cooking. And then when he's done, we could cook some heretics with him. With his oh-so-juicy las cannons. Let's take this off because you're in the way. I immediately just swipe my finger over it. <laughs> oh well. Nary a harm done. Try and get these edges nice and clean. There we go. Not looking forward to the insides. But then again, no one's going to see the insides. So maybe I just won't do those. Sorry, I just realized I was out shot. I do apologize. There we are. There we go, apart from one blemish. Very good. Try and hit the edge. I'm going to try and hit the edge here without hitting the blue. Oh, there we go, something like that. Not quite close enough yet, though. Ah, precision. Not my strongest suit, but I'm getting better. There we go, hit that edge. Sweet, sweet edge. Nice. Now, I'd like you guys to remember, I'm not kidding when I say I have very unsteady hands, but I'd like to think that a part of what can help with that is simply with practice, you either find a way or get used to the way that you hold and paint the model. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell anyone that no matter how much you may or may not shake, it will eventually just pass as you get more experienced, but it definitely does get just that bit better. You know, assuming you're not shaking for medical reasons, of course. I'm getting to the top there, it's not super easy. There we go, I think that's the best I'm gonna do on that front, but still, looks pretty good. I kept the uh, inlet bits dark, 
which is cool. Hopefully I can manage that on the second layer. <laughs> there we go. Sketch this one dotted nice and silver as well. Lovely. Right, realistically, I think this part of the piston would be silver. Don't know why I said realistically. It, it, it's not really about realism, but I'm talking silly things. Wow, this is very tight space. There we go. I think that's the best I'm going to do. But still, very good. Oh, bless you, cat. Or excuse you, cat. Wh wh whichever's best. What about his dreadnought booty? How much of that's going to be silver as opposed to black? Because alas, I don't believe there are that many pictures of ballistus booty. So I'm just going to roll with my gut. Do the old thing where I try and keep the inside of these bits here as dark as I can. There we go, that looks pretty cool. Now, what at the top? Hmm, I might do an inverse. Well, I call it an inverse, it's technically still the same thing. Where in the raised bits, I will do silver. You can see a bit of something sticking up there. Let's see if I can't just quickly grab it with a mid pincer. There we go. Whatever twas, tis gone. Okay. Sorry about the bad angle, guys, but this is a difficult thing to reach with this brush. There we go. Fear not, I will show you momentarily. There we go, that's the first stroke of it. Try and get a light. There you go. You can kind of see there, just on the top above that blue. Not too bad at all. Excellent. All of a sudden, from the same pot of paint, my paints are getting very, being very wet. So, not too sure why that's just suddenly happened. Did that do it? I think that did it. Wow, this one's even harder to get to the top of than the other side because of the way he's positioned. There we go. Nevertheless, success is mine. Nice. There we are. Cool, cool. Let's just move that out of the way. Dooby dooby doo. Lovely. A little bit rough around the edges there, but still easy enough to clean. Get the knee. Very good. Inside knee. And the outside. Excellent. Get these cog bits done. Let's try and get this clean. Nearest down it. <laughs> By which I mean it isn't. <laughs> oh well. Sweep, 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 sweep. Let's get in that joint. There we are. Cool. That's the back of the knees now. It's now what part of this would be silver? Methinks this rivet or bolt or whatever the appropriate term is. Nice. Let's get this nice and silvered. Try and get an angle so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. There is no way. Here we go. Nice. You can really see the mold lines on the inside of his ankle there. Ugh. We'll try to pretend that's not there. Now, interestingly, I noticed how uh, you can see where his foot ends much higher than his toes, but... On this foot, it does not. It goes all the way to the ground, so I'm going to leave most of it black to sort of simulate that, I think. At least for now. With my famously straight lines. Doosh, 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 doosh. There we go. Nice. There we go. Oh, he's passing out from all the excitement. All right, well, let's have a look at the old back. Get this grill silver. There we are. Hello, buddy. Just passing through, I hope. Not here to cause any chaos or damage. There we go. No, you're just here to sneeze on me. Nice. Thank you. Really just turn me to chaos, why don't you? All right, cool, thanks, bye. Nice, that looks cool. There we go. Oop, little bear. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yeah, it's one chimney. Chimney, exhaust pipe. <laughs> That's solid, they're chimneys now. Chimney, what am I talking about? <laughs> Get the second chimney all done. Nice, very, very cool. Now I have an idea for this piping here. I go over it lightly. There you go, just rubbing over it like this makes a really good look. Nice. Just keeping my brush flat against it, so I don't go between it too much, if at all. Nice, I really like that. I'll just do it with the other one. Dang it, got my brush a little too much for that, unfortunately, but never mind. Still looks good, and I'm sure I can fix it up down the line. Actually, no, it looks perfectly fine, really. Nice. A really big chunk of the blues come off there. Oh, oh well. Now, it's part of me wondering, should I have done the sides of the sarcophagus there blue? Right, let's uh, get these here. Every bolt is all done. Imagine being big and badass enough to have twin-linked heavy bolters for nipples. I mean, if that doesn't scream badass, I don't know what does.